Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how we can automate the five most essential steps for any data analysis project. Whether you are an Excel data analyst, a statistical R developer or a Python data scientist, you eventually will have to perform these five most important steps and they are almost common in almost every data analysis project. So before we get right into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like for more such videos of data analysis in your feeds. So let's first take a look at the five essential steps in any data analysis projects and they are as follows. First, we examine the data structure to find the number of observations or rows. If you are from an Excel background, they are known as rows and columns. If you are a Python data scientist, you would probably hear something like rows and features. Then we try to identify what are the different variable types in your data. If you're not familiar with variable types, take a look at the different videos on my channel. I've explained the variable types in detail and also the different type of analysis we can perform using these variable types. But as a refresher, the three most common variable types are the categorical variable types, the numerical variable types, and the text variable types. These are the most three common variable types that we use. Of Obviously, there are further other variable types such as date time used for time series, but I'm not going to touch upon that in this video. Then we try to identify what type of analysis we can do. So this is first we do the univariate analysis that after identifying each of the different variable types, we perform analysis on the variables with respect to themselves. Then we do bivariate analysis. If you are familiar from the Excel background, this will also be done using pivot tables and you can add, you can have, have a further branch that from bivariate analysis, you can also do multivariate analysis. And we, do, we use contingency tables in R and you can use also different types of cross-section tables in, in Python. And lastly, we do the summary statistics, where of the numerical variables, we perform the summary statistics to find out the distribution and, uh, and to gauge the median, the mean, the first, second, and the third quartile, and the other summary statistics, uh, such as standard deviation, which help us get a better insight of the data. So before we branch out into more deeper data analysis, these are the five basic steps that you will eventually end up performing for all data analysis project. So let's see how we can automate this. So let's take a look at this small Python utility I've built to try to automate these steps. So all I need to do is I click on browse here and select the file. This is the same cast data set that I've used in most of my videos to do numerical and statistical analysis and also machine learning in certain videos. So let's select this. I click on open and now you can see in the folder it is performing all the analysis. It is generating all the variables, the different type of analysis univariate, bivariate, and also doing some statistics. And now it has captured all of them and put them into one single report. This is all in real, in real time. If I click on the report now, okay, let us expand this. And now you can see, you get the first five rows of your data in this report. Okay. Now it has also done something. I've written code to find out the intelligent column classification. For example, if you look at this data, all of this seems numerical at a first glance but if you look more closely something like a cylinder which has unique values so they can be grouped uh, by by six cylinders four cylinders or eight cylinders similar you know gear if you see the frequency count of you know gears there are you know four gear cars three gear cars so they look numerical but they're actually categorical variables so instead of having to identify them you know yourself I tried to get my utility to find out, so it has found out what are the categorical columns and it has proposed that these are the categorical columns. Obviously, you can tune them later. And these are the numerical columns, which it, it has uh, found out to be numerical, like MPG displacement, horsepower. And then it will do now the next step, that is the univariate analysis, first of all the categorical variables. So if you see, you could have done this using pivot tables or frequency tables. And this, you know, finds out for, for example, for cylinder, eight cylinder, what are the frequency, four cylinder, six cylinder, and will pre uh, present a nice graph for you. Similarly, it does that automatically for all the numerical variables. If you are familiar with Excel, you would do this with pivot tables, pivot charts. In Python or R, you would write code to do this. Then it will do bivariate analysis. Again, this can be done using pivot tables where you do cross-section analysis of data like cylinder versus you know, VS, or they are also known as contingency tables. You can see a nice heat map. So eight cylinder cars with zero VS, there are 14 combinations. This will help you get a deeper analysis of your data. I'm not going to walk through this analysis because I have talked about this in, in all the other videos. This is just to show how we can automate these tasks for you. So look at this now, cylinder versus gears, gears, such a good insight that we have most cars having eight cylinder and three gear combination. And uh, we have eight cars having four cylinder and four gear combination. So good quick insight using graphical view and as well as uh, 
table data format using pivot tables so you can see it has done all of that all the complex analysis for you and right down at the bottom you see it has it has also taken all the statistical analysis or the summary statistics for the numerical variables see mpg is given count median mean standard deviation and also for all the other numerical variables so i have built this you know like utility i'm also working on another utility i'll just show you a quick brief of that so this utility i will i'm trying to build where i directly select the file okay and in, in, it will identify the you know variables but instead of doing it for all the variables i will choose so it has shown me these are my categorical columns these are my numerical columns it could have misclassified them so i will select which options i want to perform as a categorical variable so i select cylinder gear and carburetor for example it will perform analysis only on these variables i do, i may i want to exclude other variables so and now also i can select then which variables i want to do my summary statistics for i may not i may want to exclude certain variables for whatever reasons so i select just two variables or three variables hp and weight and you can see it will perform a nice summary statistics of these variables so if you are keen to learn how to build such utilities leave a comment and if you want to see how to build the first utility or the second one leave a comment in my video and i will try to walk you through the code step by step we can build the, uh, the uh, utility together so you can see how to build the first uh, utility which combines all the summary status statistics and the analysis into one pdf file as you can see here or we uh, or we can take a look at this one which i'm in the process of building where we are like dynamically going to ha have the app decide for you and give you the opportunity to, uh, to choose and do your analysis in real time do let me know your interest and leave a like on my video to get similar videos in your feed do, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analysis across different technologies thank you